Oh, here's some coal. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Cabin by the Lake. It is the morning of day 10. I do have one skill point to spend here this morning. I'm gonna put that into mother load. I was gonna start off this episode by looting that house over there, and then from there, head on over to Trader Joel's and take on a tier 3, and that is still the plan, but I'm gonna mine some coal first. All right, that's enough for now. Just a little bit, but because I haven't seen a lot of coal around, I'm gonna mark this on the map. Plus, it's really close to home, so we'll come back here and mine this again. Maybe tomorrow, because tonight I'm gonna finally craft myself an iron pickaxe. Steady. Oh, yeah. Well, we got some coal. Might as well get some nitrate powder, too. Okay, here we are. Let's check the mailbox. Batter up book. 10% more damage with clubs. Look at that. It's meant to be. We're meant to be here. It's a tier two. So it's not like Joel's gonna send us back here because we're on tier three with him. I'm gonna try and make my way through this place fairly quickly though so we can get to Joel and do a tier three. Morning, buddy. Not such a good morning for him. Workstation book. Shit. Speaking of workstation books, uh, apparently Jen had some and I totally missed them. Uh, Joel, his inventory resets today, so he should have three as well, because I'm pretty sure I bought the last three from Joel. So, we're just going to do our dealings with Joel today, and we can go back to Jen's tomorrow and pick up the three she had. Uh, let's grab the spring, take the lead, and let's get to it. Dropping in. Oh, that soft landing on the bed kept her from waking up. Nice. I'll sell that padded chest armor, take the sewing kits. Oh, agility goggles. Gives us a point in agility. We are currently wearing our perception shades. Or fortitude. Oh. They're tough guy sunglasses now. They used to give you a point in perception. Now it's fortitude. I think I'll stick with the point in fortitude. Here's a game. Keep big boy from breaking the door. Oh, <laughs> it's a hard game to win. I kept them in the bathroom, though. First aid bandage. Oh, pumpkin. Hey, tis the season, right? We'll turn that thing into a jack-o'-lantern later. I need to make a candle. Animal fat and plant fiber. Easy enough. Here we go. That guy's taken care of. Whoop. Fucking candy. Back up, lady. What do we got? Some iron? Whatever. Let's just get this done. Hey, steel club parts. Okay, where's the stash? Couple zombies. And some fire. Assuming the stash is behind the fire. Let's see what we got in this loot bag. Wiring book. Eat the dog food now, and I'll take the vitamin now, too. What the hell? How do I put this out? I gotta keep following this pipe, I guess. Come on. Is that it? There we go. Okay. Through here. Hold on. Some ammo in here. Nine millimeter, and I saw a zombie. He did. There's some more coming. Close that door. Just you, Kenny. 
That's easy enough. Here we are. Pistol beep book. More accurate when rapidly firing 9mm weapons. Let's put the impact bracing mod on our boots. Can they get a workstation book? No. Motherfucker. I just want my mixer. See what you got here for me. Well, shit. High-powered rounds, gunpowder, I'll take that. 7.62, take all of that. Forge ahead. Nice. And I think that'll probably do it. I don't have enough money for that stuff. We'll hold on to the money we have. Alright, uh, special job. Let's see where this traitor is. To the north. Decent ride. Not gonna do that right now. I'll just remove it from the HUD. And let's do one of them tier 3 jobs. We'll do the... Hmm. Let's do a clear zombies. We'll do the infested tomorrow. It's a little bit further away. And since we're getting a late start, we'll do the clear zombies since it's closer. And it's a tier three, so hopefully we'll get a little better loot. Here we are. These two buildings are connected. It's all one POI. We've got the, the bakery and the pawn shop. Starting in the bakery. Let's read these and nope. That's only 18 to 75. If I remember correctly, we have to get to 30 of these books to unlock the mixer. So still kind of far away. Probably should have been pumping points into advanced engineering just to get our hands on that mixer more quickly. But I was a little more concerned with uh, Pummel Pete and, you know, doing more melee damage. Which we have to be concerned with. We have to be concerned with a fucking horde every single night. You know? But if, if Jen does have three of those books and we go see her tomorrow and pick them up, granted, even if we don't find any more workstation books today, that'll still take us to 21. We'll only be nine away. So what I was thinking for the base... You know, I put that ladder in and the zombies were climbing up it. What if we knock out one of the blocks at the top there and put in a uh, sledge turret? Which, obviously, we don't have one of those yet, but we'll eventually get one. And then the zombies will climb up that ladder and the sledge turret will knock them off back into the pit and it will kind of put them into a loop. Eventually, they might destroy the ladder and that's not going to work, but it'll work for a good amount of time. Even longer if we upgrade the ladder. And then we can keep setting them on fire while they're stuck in that loop. I think it'll work out good. Another thing I want to do, thinking long term here, is knock out the single door that we have and put in a double door. And then open up the entrance double wide as well. It would let more zombies in at once and it would drop more zombies down into the pit at once. And we gotta think about that in the future when the hordes are a lot bigger. We need to be dealing with bigger groups. Look at this grab right here, that's nice. Sounds like we got a zombie up there. Oh, there she comes. Miss America, oh you son of a bitch. Just trying to sing a song. What the fuck is going on here? What? Oh my god. We got possessed glass panels. Crawler, fuck off. What is happening? I don't know. I'm just gonna get out of here. 
Couple of more steel club parts. I'll scrap the hat. Okay. Heading down. Wee. Shotgun crafting. Could make a level three pipe shotgun. Definitely not going to do that. Got a snake somewhere. In there. Yep. Let's let it out. And this is the pawn shop. With the main stash. Okay, that went quicker than I thought. But that's fine. I'd rather have extra time than be rushing to get home. And then, uh, you know, me, always forgetting shit, even though our home is our base, so we can't really forget shit. Wiring book. Mechanical part. Another trap book. Another wiring book. You in there? Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, shit. Damn it. Uh, just one of those days, you know? We'll get through it. Well, I don't have any lockpicks, so unless we can find some, we're gonna be coming back to get into that chest. Big hitters and uh, level one iron crossbow, which I would usually scrap for the bow part, but I'm gonna hang on to that. It's definitely better than my piece of shit primitive bow, and I know I've got some bolts at home. So, uh, we'll just use that until we can find something better. Oh, there's a gun safe in here, too. Well, definitely marking it on the map. Maybe uh, when we go see Jen tomorrow, we'll uh, see if we can snag a lockpick and uh, some jailbreaker candy. We'll come back here cracking the both of these safes. Nice. Uh, wiring tool. We're going to need one of those eventually. Alright, I'm going to pop this open. I believe there are dogs out here. Because there's a couple of dog carriers in here, but I haven't seen any dogs yet. Let's just hop up on this truck. Yep, we got dogs. I don't think they can get up here, right? No, they're just going to chew on the side of the truck. Scrap that, take the cement. Uh... Anything up there? Get up here. And let's get up this ladder real quick. Uh, no. Nothing up here. Well, fuck those dogs. Uh, level 3 hammer, skill magazines, exploding arrows, those are tempting, but I'm gonna go with the magazine bundle this time. Cross your fingers that there are workstation books in there. Nothing else I want to sell you, Joel. Thank you, Survivor. Let's take that infested job, we'll do that in the morning. I'll see you tomorrow, old buddy. Uh, let's pop that bundle open. Eh, uh, big hitters. Knife guy and assault rifle books. You know, I keep talking about how I want this mixer. I don't even have an engine yet, so this is something I should have been doing all day today. I meant to be doing. I brought a repair kit with me for this reason, so I could repair my wrench. After taking multiple cars apart, and I, and I forgot. There's a truck up here. This will be our last ditch effort to get an engine today. If we don't find one here, then we'll continue our efforts tomorrow. There's a mixer here as well. We can try taking that thing apart, but I've never gotten an engine from a mixer before. You would think that... You 
could get an engine from a mixer. I mean, if you need an engine to craft a mixer, you should be able to possibly get one from taking a mixer apart. Well, no luck. We'll have to try again tomorrow. So what I did here was basically extend the scaffolding bars down across here. Basically making it impossible for me to fall. Because I just automatically grab onto the ladder here. So if I back up too far, I don't got to worry about falling down into the pit now. And it's not going to make a difference to the base. Shouldn't affect the zombie pathing in any way. And here we go. Pop one of those up. We'll start with the 9mm. I have less ammo there. And you know what? Let's take a recog now. Otherwise, I'm just going to forget. Let's repair that block. Oh, shit. I forgot my cobblestone. Oh, it's nice living at your base. When you forget shit, you can just grab it. Where the hell is it? Here it is. Okay, get back over here, prepare, prepare, and back to it. Now that hurt a little bit, but not that much. Let's get some fire on him. Oh, got a kill right there. Probably should put the crossbow away, though. We'll start bringing that thing out with us during the day. Should probably bring the AK as well. And just try not to use it. I'd rather not use ammo during the day. But, you know, in an emergency, in the event of a dog or a wolf. Better to have it than not have it. Might as well run through the rest of the 9mm. And then maybe at that point we'll let him in. And uh, try and go melee. I do have 50 rounds of uh, HP 9mm, but I don't want to feed that stuff through the pipe pistol. Well, that sucked. I should probably put some bars on either side of the doorway. Like, poking out. Uh, just to prevent the pipe bomb from going off to the side and missing the entire group, you know? But, I want to open... I want to open up the doorway, like I was saying earlier. I'm going to start working on that tonight. And uh, tomorrow morning, we'll, we'll, that, we'll get that done before we head out. This way, we make sure it's all set up and ready for the horde tomorrow night. I don't think it's going to affect anything if we do that. I think it'll just make the base better, especially uh, moving forward. We'll have a wider doorway. We'll have a wider door that they're standing on. We'll have the double doors so we can drop more zombies down into the pit at one time. I think it'll be good. Bitch! <laughs> oh, I sent him flying out the door. Uh, okay, get in the pit. Get down there. Go ahead. Eh. Alright, pop that back open. The double door will also give us a greater surface area, obviously, for, for opening and closing the door. Should make it a little bit easier. However... Once we get some uh, electricity flowing through this place, definitely uh, makes sense to, to do a powered door. And either do that through a motion sensor or a trigger plate or even just a switch wouldn't be bad. Come on. Nice. More loot bags, the better. Because I keep fucking forgetting to use this eye candy. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, man. All right. Uh, figure that out <laughs> later why that happened. Um, a lot of things have to be rearranged once we uh, 
open the doorway up and put double doors in. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I keep bringing this eye candy with me, and I keep forgetting to use it. So we're going to use it tonight before we go through the loot bags. Oh, we finally got some dogs to show up. Get in the pit, dog. Get down there. Oh, come on. See, and they stand on the edge of the door. So I think with the double doors, that... Oh, shit. Well... Yeah, we need to, we need to make some changes. That's the bottom line. And we're going to. Oh, you ducking son of a bitch. Fucking Muhammad Ali over here. Get in the pit, you sons of bitches. Is that it? I think it is. Well, another successful night. Not bad, other than uh, a couple little mishaps. And, you know, I keep getting hit um, through the bars. But uh, that's something that's hard to avoid. Especially when you're trying to get melee work in, you know? Uh, anyway, we're going to make some changes. We're going to widen up the door, put in the double doors. Change some bars around. And, uh... Hopefully make it better. I mean, that's the fucking whole point, you know? Got some bags out here. Pretty good, though. I, uh, I think, I think we're doing pretty good. I also want to craft, uh, an iron pickaxe tonight. Might as well. Especially if I'm gonna start knocking out some of these cobblestone blocks. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also considering... Throwing these skill points into intellect. We've got three of them. We have to get intellect to level four before we could level up advanced engineering again. So I might do that. We're not far off from leveling up again. So that's something I got to think about. All right. Anyway, let me harvest these dogs and uh, get a pickaxe crafted. Oh. It just despawned. What about the one in the pit? Probably despawned also. Yep. I gotta be quicker about that. Alright, well, anyway. Like I said, I'm gonna get a pickaxe crafted and get working on the base. Let's just take a quick look at where we are realistically to unlocking the mixer. Because like I said earlier, I think it's 30 books, but I'm not sure. Here we are. Yeah, 30 to unlock the mixer and 50 to unlock the chem station and 75 for the crucible. So you know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. We'll get another point into advanced engineering. When we level up again, that'll make workstation books easier to find. And we can always use the forgetting elixir and respect the points once we get our hands on the crucible. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin by the Lake, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.